I got a Rice Krispie Treat. The Boss Beatdown. Dark Stools. Gaping Dragon. Are those your teeth or your ribs? Or both? I don't know. Ready? Goo. So we're continuing the line of bosses you can technically skip if you have the master key, and we're making our way down into the depths. Just getting acquainted with some people around Firelink Shrine first, and that's the... Oh. That's weird. Anyway, from Firelink Shrine, you can make your way through the sewer towards Moss Lady. While you're there, maybe grab a couple of these things, perhaps go to the other merchant and get some fire bombs, because generally, it will help if you keep things spicy. Open this here door and make your way inside. You are then met with some hollows taking residence in the local soup kitchen, where this butcher is making a very scrumptious meal with a hearty cut of meat. I wonder where she got that from. Oh no! Fight off these puppers and then interrupt the meal preparations. But be careful hey. before you become the next ingredient on the cutting board. You got this hole here that we'll get to in a minute, and a chest with that good ember inside. I'm just gonna go over Wait, hey, what are you doing up there? Watch out for falling muscular ladies. In here, you find the next in line for the soup line, Laurentius. If you want them starter pyromancies, Larry here is your boy. Just break him out of the barrels with your barrel rolls, and he'll see you later at the shrine. Now go this way. You might notice something ooey gooey on the ceiling, or you might not and then it'll eat you. And then there's a lot of them. Um... One thing you might notice when hitting them is that it takes a while to wear them down. To be fair, they don't really put you in a lot of danger, but if you want to melt them, you can literally do so with fire. This door is locked. Three. Oh, shit! All right! There are Stuart Littles of many different sizes around these parts, and the bigger they are, the more aggressive it seems they get. Honestly, you're just traveling in a twisted, nasty alternate version of the movie Flushed Away. Also, this door is stuck too. Re, go back up. Rats on rats on rats. This corpse has a key that opens the door from earlier, which is the only bonfire down here in the depths. So there's a lot of shit down here, and I'm not just saying that because of the running poo water everywhere. So I'm gonna sum up a few spots, that way we're not here all day. The big old rat king, the basilisk basement, and the Pied Piper balcony. That spot behind the butcher leads to a ledge directly above the big rat. <laughs> kill kill with plunge attack. Now you could also enter this area on the same level as the rat later on in this area, but then you're missing out on both the spider shield and the juicy plunging attack, you silly billy. There's also this waterfall part here, but you're gonna wanna go to the far left of the waterfall. Don't go chasing it. Otherwise, you will end up in the basilisk basement. These googly-eyed looking dudes don't actually inflict damage on you, but they'll build up a meter for the cursed condition. Being cursed does a few things, mainly chopping your health in half, but a purging stone can fix the bad juju if you happen to get afflicted. A few merchants do sell them, but you should be able to clean house pretty easily without getting cursed from their constant vaping. Also, these are not the basilisk eyeballs. Their actual eyes are those little things right there. There's a ring, some thick, very aggressive Stuart not-so-littles, and after some navigating, you end up at the end of the waterfall. And you can open the other locked door from earlier leading to the bonfire. You got the path to the boss, this kooky fellow who sells crystal weapons, some drip, and oh, oh, he's got the yellow cocaine! Yeah, man, I'll have that. I'm gonna buy that shit. Also, if you reverse your hollowing, you get your first invasion from the Knight of Thorns, Kirk, who I wasn't about to call a bitch in his face mid-fight because then I'd probably be served humble pie. But looky looky, get dunked on, bitch. After defeating him, you get one of his items, in this case, Prickly Shield. So, you've cleared out most of this place and you've got the path to the boss. You should be able to head in now, right? Incorrect. Before you do that, you should visit the Pied Piper balcony. Head in this direction in the sewers, you know, the direction with the water and shit, and go through this wall. There's a channeler up here. If you don't kill him before entering the boss fight, he can attack you from up here and potentially buff the boss. Ooh, kill him! Okay, now you can make your way towards the fight. If you aren't hollowed, you can summon the best boy, Solaire. And, if you didn't kill him yet, also Lawtrek. Now it's time to beat down the boss. Cause, you know, oh, look at that tiny head. Maybe this thing isn't that bad after all. Oh, oh no. Oh my god! It still isn't that bad. This fight is pretty cake if you're just trying to go in and smack the boss, but baiting its moveset was pretty tedious, not gonna lie. The gaping dragon's fighting moves include, I think he's trying to grab me, but I just get hit, triple stomp temper tantrum, long ass tail swipe, Michael Jordan jumping, big old downward chomp, 
often followed by a bulldozing, and wiggle wiggle vomit time. Like I said, trying to get the boss to do its entire moveset took a while. So much so that I was bored and ended up just getting nay nayed because I wasn't paying attention. So here's a few things to look out for. The tail swipe has a very long reach, and it can really fuck up your day if you're not careful. So when the dragon tries to eat you, it'll often charge. Avoid getting trampled and consumed by its body horror of a mouth, and it'll eventually stop. Say the line, Bart! Cut the tail. Yeah! Take this chance to chop off that pesky tail, get the Dragon King Great X, and laugh at it when it tries to tail whip you again. Then after that, just bop its head whenever it lands for extra damage. If it jumps while not facing you, it is pivoting to face you. If it jumps while it is facing you, it's gonna go forward. But you can outrun it. Sometimes it'll do a little wiggle like this. It'll then throw up its last meal all over the floor. Going behind the dragon makes it easier to run away from the bile, as it's more towards the front. Standing in the bile will damage your gear, and nobody wants that. But that's about all the warnings I can give, because this thing is just not that hard. Observe as it charges forward over and over for like five minutes. You can puppet this thing and get that tail pretty quickly. The music is epic, but the fight is only a true challenge the first time around. After that, you have to be not paying attention to get hit, like me. Bait the downward mouth slam, speed bag its head, and you'll have it slain in no time. Overall, this Sturgeon? Easy peasy. And then boom, you beat the gaping dragon, get the key to sadness, two buttholes and a boner, head back to your bonfire and reflect on the fact that you're going to Blight Town. Final verdict? Keep the channel alive for more challenge, I guess. Next time, Spider Mommy.